Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the most important thing in RTA, drafting. You may have all the monsters in the game, but if you don't know how to draft then, they might as well be useless. So the first thing you gotta do is find out what kind of players you are. Are you a first turn player or a second turn player? If you're watching this video, I assume that you have already watched the first video and you have already assembled your RTA pool. Now your drafting is gonna vary depending whether or not you're first turn or second turn players. Now let's find out if you're a first turn or a second turn player. To do that, look at your RTA pool. Do you have more monsters that need to go first like this one? Or do you have more monsters that need to go second like this one? Alright, we're gonna talk about the first turn pick players. Now this player has higher win rate than the second turn players because you know, all you need to do is just get first turn and you get to do something to the opponent already. For example, Okeanos get first turn, reset somebody, basically 3v4. Dapnis get first turn, one shot somebody, basically 3v4. However, if you wanna be a first turn player, then you need to have most of the meta unit, usually with very little substitute, and they need to have very godly, speedy runes. But what if you're last pay to win and have no LD net 5 like me? Then you, my friend, are a second turn player. While first turn players just focus on getting first turn to do something, us second turn players, we focus on surviving the first turn, and there we come back. That's why you need full will run on most monsters, except Josephine, maybe. But at least, there's many substitutes for the meta monster of the second turn pick players. But do you know that some of the first turn monster can also be used for second turn? They are what we call as versatile picks. You can use them for first turn or second turn. For example, Vanessa. You can use Vanessa to get first turn with her speed lead, or you can use her to tank one shot together with Triana. Versatile picks are usually picked first because they're versatile. <laughs> Just look at the meta, you'll find that there's a lot of Sierra first pick, Vanessa first pick, and Hathor first pick. So whether you are a first turn or second turn player, it is always recommended to go with a versatile pick for your first pick. Triana in my opinion is the best second turn player first pick, because he counter the one shot meta and also counter the CC meta with her immunity. That's why Taranis, even though he's a superior reviver than Triana, cannot substitute her. Okay then, that should be enough info for you to decide whether or not you're a first turn or second turn player. Let me know in the comment section what player you are and your monster RTA pool. See, this is what happens if I pick first turn. I'm gonna pick Vanessa, since I have Vanessa in my pool and she's versatile, a very good first turn option. And then usually from here, the opponent is gonna try to outspeed me with Ciara and Bestet. Okay, so I need to be as fast, right? I need to pick even more first turn unit. Now all I have is Dapnis and a Swift front for the 10% speed lead and the immunity in case if I get first turn. But now I don't have an attack bar booster and that's a problem guys. While the opponent has a speed lead and an attack bar booster. They just need to work on their first turn unit like Okeanos and probably something like Barbara to one shot my deafness. And then I have reached a dead end. I cannot pick any more first turn monster. I don't have an attack bar booster that can match the stat. <laughs> if I go Tiana then I will not have enough damage or any CC to beat the opponent. So this is where I realized that, hey, I'm not a first turn player, I'm a second turn player. Whereas the opponent just keeps going and going. They have so many that I don't have. I like the first turn unit that can actually do something like Okeanos or Barbara or even something like Hathor. Now this is how I can beat this kind of comb by going second. Of course, I'm gonna pick the second turn versatile unit, Triana, cause Triana can deal with the Bestat nuke of the Ciara nuke or Barbara nuke and it can also deal with the CC like the Ciara bomb, the stun from the bomb and also the AOE stun from the Okeanos and then from that on I'm gonna pick Vanessa once again Vanessa versatile instead of using her for first turn I use her for second turn to tank one shot if you don't have Vanessa then you can probably go something like Taranis and then I'm gonna pick another second turn versatile unit which is Lauren cause Lauren can strip the buff from the Bestat but having only one stripper is not enough, right? You need at least two, cause if they ban the Lauren, then who's gonna strip? And this is where I gotta pick Etna. Etna also can provide some CC to the opponent, which is nice, cause if you're going second, then you need to make sure that you can come back with something, right? Either with a CC, or you can just cleanse your team with an immunity unit like Vela Jewel. But here, if you pick Vela Jewel, then it's bad, cause there's so many stripper, stripper, stripper. And Vela Jewel pick is just very stupid here. So what I decide to do is pick another CC. There we go. Now we can beat this comb by going second. And then you need to ban the correct unit, which we're gonna talk later at the banning phase part of this video. Now then, if you're gonna fight somebody who's gonna also pick second turn as their strategy, 
then it's gonna be a lot easier. And the meta in this second turn player versus second turn player is the single target strippers. For example, if the opponent's gonna pick front and immunity unit, right? There's so many counter to that. For example, Diana, Etna, or even something like Lauren will do. But of course, I recommend going with the versatile pick as always with Lauren here. And Lauren is also very good for a free to play unit. And now we already have an immunity, an anti one shot, and a stripper, and a defense breaker. Hey, that's a lot in two units already. But then the opponent is gonna react with a Raki pick, right? If they see Triana, then. But since Raki and Fran usually are very slow, maybe I'll bring Dapnis, another single target stripper, and also a nuker. By the way, I think Dapnis is mostly used for first turn players, but in my opinion, can also be used against second turn players if the opponent is gonna pick slow units. But if you if you pick Dapnis, then get ready for some Mina. The opponent is probably gonna ban your Triana and then just one shot your Dapnis with the Mina. So that's the risk. But we're gonna use this scenario for this one. And then the opponent is gonna pick Ragdoll, we assume. And probably Siho, because Siho is also very good against Dapnis. Okay, it's our turn to pick. We need to think what unit is strong against Siho. And the answer is probably Diana. Or Etna if you don't have Diana. Now we have 3 single target strippers already, and that is enough guys, I don't recommend picking more than 3 single target strippers. And to counter the ragdoll pick, we're gonna pick for the Hile. And there we go. Now if you're the opponent, what are you gonna pick against Diana and for the Hile? The answer is obvious, you pick Antares, which is one of the niche monsters that you can use to outstrat your opponent, or to catch your opponent by surprise. Okay, so this pick a monster that you don't usually see, unless a certain condition is met. For example, the Mina. It's only used when there's Dapnis like we just discussed. Josephine, pick only against CC. And Miho is only pick against a Com with 3 monsters that has crit rate. Wolfer, pick against Com with double immunity. That's why double immunity sucks. Antares, like in our example, pick against Firth and Diana. Now if you're a second turn player, then you better understand when to use the Nis picks in order to get you victory over first turn players. So as you can see, drafting is all about counterpicking the opponent while keeping your team synergy, such as do I have immunity, do I have defense breaker, do I have CC, do I have a stripper, stuff like that. Now the more you practice with your RTA pool in drafting, then the better you're gonna get. Now we're gonna talk about the last aspect of drafting, which is banning. Now banning strategy is also gonna differ depending whether or not you're first turn or second turn player. So I've made some scenario for the first turn, second turn, and against what com and what com. But before that, here are some commandments to banning. So the first rule is to always let through the redundant picks. By redundant, I mean two of this unit have the same role. So even if you ban one of these, then there's still another one for you to deal with, and that's all they need. That's why we gotta play around these redundant picks, and you just ban their sources of damage, or probably their sources of, of CC. That's why it's not recommended to pick double strippers, cause you easily get countered by single target strippers like Diana, Siho, Etna, and etc. And it's not recommended to pick double stripper, unless if you have Gianna, yeah, if you're paid to win and have Gianna, then you can do it. Or else you're gonna like CC or even damage. Now nah, Cliff. Cliff is not meta for the same reason. They have redundant picks. Cause you gotta pick two attack buff booster or two attack buff giver, which is not ideal. Whereas in Arena, you get to pick only one since you don't have to worry about the other one getting banned. However, this may not be true for you first turn player, cause all you care about is getting first turn to beat this kind of com, right? And in this case, Bustat has CT base speed, and this one has higher base speed, and it's gonna get 30% speed rate from the Garo. So for the first turn player in this scenario, the correct thing to ban is the Garo right here. And of course, you're not gonna be using this comp, this is a second turn player comp. And now for the second law. If you wanna let through a certain unit, you better have to counter to deal with that unit. For example, in this scenario, the opponent has picked a Nis pick, which is Miho, for his last pick against your com, which has a lot of crit rate. Now, you would think that picking Raki to counter the Miho is a good strategy, but what will you do if he ban your Raki like this? All these four is just gonna lose to Miho. Also, you don't wanna gamble on banning the Miho, cause let's say if you ban the Miho like this, and if your opponent happen to let through the Raki, and then they ban your other monster instead, then your Raki is just gonna be useless. That's why, have at least two counter if you wanna let through something. Okay, now we're moving on to our example. Now let's test your expertise in drafting and see how many of these you got correct. For this example, you are a first turn player. You're playing CC, first turn, com. Now when you're playing this kind of com, usually you're up against the same com, so it's who has faster speed is gonna win, but in this case the opponent is a second turn player, and they decide to pick a nice draft against you with anti-CC. 
Remember, bedding is all about taking out the unit that is most troublesome to your comp. Now the role has been reversed. You are now the second turn player, trying to win against a double stripper, CC Com. Recalling the first law of banning, who should you ban for you to have the advantage with your niece, second turn and tie CC Com. Ah, this is everyone's favorite. Now in this scenario, you are a second turn player, trying to survive a cliff comp. Now good thing for you in this meta, there's a lot of anti-cliff such as Miho and Taranis. But if you're deal with this comp, Vanessa, Triana, Laika, Miho, and Praha, who are you gonna ban to survive the first turn? By the way, Praha is on double nemesis, Will. Now this is the meta of season 12 RTA, the second turn players are tank shot, and this guy is also a second turn player. We can tell because he picks a, what seemingly seem to be a first turn pick, Hathor and Tiara, but then he decides to go with the second pick, which is Diana and Triana. He can do this because Hathor and Tiara are versatile pick, that's why he can go in both directions, first turn or second turn. Don't try to mix in first turn and second turn unit because most of the time, they're gonna end up with no synergy, even if you try to counter a certain comp by doing so. So yeah, it's a second turn player versus second turn player. Now in this scenario, if you're a tank shot kind of guy, who do you ban? Do you ban the ignore defense, since uh, most of your monsters are built on defense and crit damage? Do you ban the single target strippers, which is very good against most of your defense up, immunity, and soul protection? Or do you ban the Triana, which is the anti one shot? Or do you ban the one shot from the opponent? Now this is probably the hardest, but let's see if you can get it right. Ah, the free-to-play scenario. In this scenario, you are the second turn players going free-to-play. <laughs> These guys could only take me to G1 and have a G2. That's why I recommend that if you wanna have any G life in RTA, have at least two pay to win or premium net 5 that you can mix in with the meta free-to-play units. At least two, okay? Well then, how are you gonna survive a first turn player who's using all pay to win monster like this one? You can have a very small chance of winning if you ban the correct unit. Oh, this video took forever to make. If you wanna see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye!